what up what up everybody welcome back market looking like it's on a rebound finally i guess bitcoin just got to the point where it was oversold and they started buying it back up i was actually expecting it to touch in the nine thousands the way it was dropping yesterday it was at like ten thousand two hundred earlier that's crazy right ten thousand two hundred and i was just watching it like man this thing really might touch nine and, you know, it wasn't like a, man, this is scary type of feeling. But, you know, it was like, man, wow, it's touch, it's going to touch nine. I mean, like, this correction was overdue. I mean, from a couple hundred dollars last January to now over 11 Gs. Come on. That's mad money. A lot of people don't see don't see um, returns or price volatility like that in five years, ten years of trading stock. You know? So, yeah, so I'm just watching it, looking at the rebound. My, everything is starting to go green over here on CoinMarketCap. It's like, look at this. Wow. I was helping my brother uh, get invested inside of crypto. So I put some money into some of these coins, you know, using the budget he had set for himself. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing him um start to see the benefits of investing in this space early it's crazy it's crazy man like people just don't understand not even not when you say people but the new guys don't understand that this is how this works this is where we're at you guys need to do your research check up the history of things and understand but i understand completely where they're coming from because i was there you know, I was the new I was the new guy on the block looking like w what is all of this? You know, I was looking like, man, this is scary. The price tanked. Oh man, I should have sold. You know, I went through it. You know, it's crazy. I've lost some money in this game. But because of that, I got some skin because of it. Tough skin to this mark to this market and how and in his feelings. I learned some valuable lessons just from, you know, losing. I feel like you learn the best lessons from losing. You you don't truly master anything unless you lose. You have to lose to master something. I'm sorry, and that's the truth. You don't master something if you don't understand the flaws in the way you're doing it or the flaws inside of the, the things that you're, you know, um, trying to master. You know, if you don't understand the ins and outs, the flaws of something, then you haven't truly understood whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're investing in, you know, whatever it is, it, it applies the same. The logic is still the same. So, yeah, people, get some skin. That's all I got to say. Get some skin, you know, wipe the tears away because I understand. I was just watching a video. Dude lost, like, 100 Gs, and it's crazy because I know that that's real. Like, somebody, it's crazy like that in, in crypto. You really can just, like, lose 100 Gs out of nowhere. And then you're just kind of, like, just asked out you know it's crazy yes yeah, still some good prices on here if you guys regardless of the green there are some good prices on here salts at seven dollars 75 cents power ledger is on its way up i wouldn't be surprised to see power ledger do some crazy numbers like ten dollars in the next couple months i might do a review on power uh, overview not even a review on power ledger or a review it doesn't really matter let's see what else. substratum is up a dollar and 21 cents oh man i really want to get into substratum but you know i'm playing the holding game and you know i play the, the holding game i have friends who who don't play the holding game and i have friends who play the holding game all day because they understand the benefit the benefits of just hodling you know and, you know, I see the benefits of both sides. But in my position right now, I can't really do much. So, you know, I'm just kind of in a holding position because holding, you know, just I've, I've had a lot better luck holding. You know, I, I'm not I'm not really the day trader. Maybe when I get, you know, like some some more decent, you know, um, profits. And I start selling some positions, then you know I, I might you know consider you know getting into training and stuff like that. But for right now, I'm just kind of a holder. So you know I talk about these coins, but like I said in my previous video, I'm not invested in some of them. 
and I talk about them so much, right? You know, a lot of these coins I talk about so much because let me put it like this. If I was to be invested in these coins and they were to, you know, drop like the very next day all the way down to 60 cents, I wouldn't care. I would not care. You have to be okay with taking an L in your investments. That's how you have to position yourself to be okay because you don't truly lose profit. You don't truly lose in an investment until you sell, until you sell at a loss. You sell at a loss, you, you took an L. Unless you can buy back in right there at the exact same price where it continues dropping. And you 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 know you can buy back in and get some some out of it, but that's a very you know risky game to play. You know it's really dicey. So instead of you know just selling and hoping to get it lower, you know I would just ride it on the way down. And when you hit that rubber on that trampoline and just ride it on the way back up, that's just how I view the market. Because right now, like I said, the volatility of this market is like a freaking trampoline. Like literally, it goes up real high and it goes down real low. And those and those lows sometimes are really new low new all time highs for a low, so you know it's really building up momentum for that next big push up. So yeah, guys, you know something to consider. Ten X, that's another coin I want to get into. You know they're gonna be doing some stuff. I really want to build positions in. Man, if you guys, I have like a, a Christmas list of cryptos that I want to invest into. I have a Christmas list. I don't care if I miss the ICO phase. There's a couple out here. Let's check out Titanium. Actually, my sister is investing into Titanium and uh, currencies invested in Titanium as well. They were talking. Titanium is purring the new kid on the block. Doing his thing. Thizang. Two dollars and thirty-two cents. I was told to hit an all-time high, like four bucks, which was crazy. You know, from ICO price, ICO price for titanium was a dollar. I wish I had gotten. Like I said, people, I'm not the day trader in the family. <laughs> I'm not the day trader. I wish I was. I wish I was, but I don't got it in me to take an L right now. <laughs> I don't have it in me, so you know, I just stay in my lane. You know, sometimes you just got to chill. Unless you had experience doing that, you know, and you can take the take an L, but it's not worth it overall. Just chill, you know. Just chill. In other news, top Swiss cryptocurrency lawyer questions the stupid ICO structure. And when he says stupid, he's actually just referring to the way ICOs are still being structured as opposed to today's regulator regulatory environment or legal environment is really hostile towards cryptos at the moment you know with all these regulations coming in they're trying to rein cryptos in kind of like a wild horse you know that's just been galloping in the winds that's been let to have free roam and you know all of a sudden you try and break it in. it's like all these years you were really letting this horse just run around like you didn't try to tame it you didn't do anything you're letting this wild horse run around the entire wherever it's being kept or wherever it's located and all of a sudden one day you you just come in with some reins like all right boys i'm gonna ride you now and like you don't just do that you can't do that 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 wild horse is is far gone got you know especially if it's went from being a baby already to something that actually has some you know some punch to it that you might have to down it you might have to kill it only thing about this wild horse is you can't but yeah so basically yeah he was essentially saying that people all ico founders developers whatever it is for their projects they need to start putting more effort into this into making their um ip or ico mo have more of an ipo appeal to it you know because we are coming into a more regulated environment or what I say climate because people want to get into it people are complaining about losing money and you know there's just so many negatives out there when it comes to people not taking responsibility for their own actions that the government sees no choice but to introduce these regulations and try to make some money off of it as usual but yeah that's essentially what he's saying I'm going to leave the link to the article inside the video description also as well for those people who are new if you guys want in the video of the link, 
I said the video of the link. The link of the video. I said the link of the video. The description of the video. If you guys aren't invested in cryptocurrencies yet, and I'm just, you know, some dude you're watching to see if you want to invest or not, I have a link to Coinbase and also to Binance. I don't have my KuCoin link. Binance is one of the more popular exchange for uh, people who are new in, in crypto. And Coinbase is clearly right now, I guess, at the moment, one of the, the few gateways out there that are that are legitimate based on, you know, customer use and, you know, just getting your stuff, not having any hassle with anything, really. So I have the links to those in the description of the video. If you guys are new, check it out. You, you never know. This may change your life. It may not. Like I said, I did it. I'm only going to talk about what I would do and what I've done. I'm not going to say, hey, you guys should do this. If you guys are interested and I, in some way, you know, gave you that push to get into it, the links are in the video description. Well, all right, everybody. That's it. I'm going to cut it here. Peace. I'm out.